Hello beautiful teachers! Today we're taking a look at a couple of books in a genre that we don't get to see a lot as piano teachers, especially at this beginner to early intermediate level. These books are Five Finger Rock and they're by Brock Chart. If you haven't heard of Brock before, you may not have watched many of my previous videos because I've reviewed his other collections which are Five Finger Pop and Five Finger Jazz was the first one and they are fabulous. And these books are also fabulous. They really capture the genre in a way that I know was a challenge <laughs> at this level, talking about five finger positions, talking about very accessible music for rock music was definitely challenging to put together, but they exceeded my expectations. They're absolutely gorgeous pieces and really convey this genre well. So we're going to take a look at a couple of my favorite pieces, little excerpts from them, and we'll come back and talk about who these books are for. So Brock was kind enough to send me these books as well as the play along tracks, which are fantastic. We'll get back to those later. And when he sent me the play along tracks, he recommended a few of his favorites from the book. And the first one on his list was this one, which is Born on a Sunday. And he said it was because he listened to a lot of Green Day as a teenager, which I also did. So I just had to take a look at this piece straight away as one of the first ones and I do love it. I'm just gonna play a little bit of the intro for you. It goes like this. That's just the very start. I want to just give you a taster of the piece, but it is gorgeous. It definitely fits in with that Green Day style, like from American Idiot Forward, that kind of style, not the original earlier music, which I also love. But that's another story. But that is a great piece. That's in book one. Very, very accessible. The other one I have to show you just the very start of is Roll of the Dice. This one is described as hard rocks and it says we're supposed to swing the eights. And it's just, I wanted to show you the contrast, I guess, with the more moody version of punk rock we had earlier. This one is dynamic. I'm right to it. How fun is that opening? That is just gonna capture students' minds, absolutely. So as I mentioned, there are play along tracks for these, which I love. Brock actually gets real session musicians and records them and it shows. The quality of the play along tracks It's one of my favorite things about these books. They're great pieces. They would be solid books without those play along tracks, but my gosh, with them, they are awesome, which is why I love reviewing these books on the channel and hopefully sharing them with more teachers because I think more students need to be playing these pieces. They're gorgeous. So the play along tracks are fantastic. They have an ensemble and spotlight version. So ensemble is including the piano and spotlight is without the piano. So the student is in the spotlight. And then there's also an 80% and I think 60% version of each track as well. If you don't have like a slow downer app or you just find that awkward like me, I can't be bothered <laughs> to put it in the slow downer app most of the time. It's handy to just have those options right there. Now let's talk about who these books are for. So I always caveat this with any supplemental books by saying that the student should be given a choice. So these would be great books to put in a list of options that you give to students at that late beginner, early intermediate level. So if you're using a method book series, we'd be talking about students maybe in a level two method book for book one and in a level three method book for book two of this. So they're not right at the beginning, they can play because otherwise they would get a little bit frustrated um, unless they were really in love with the pieces and push themselves that, that bit further. But to make them really successful, I would say they're in level two-ish of a method book level three-ish of a method book for the book two. And these would be great for any student obviously who loves rock music or just who says they want to play something that sounds like pop or something that's a bit different, not classical. You know, those vague descriptions we get. I would give this as one of their options. And I always say to give options. So what I mean is you lay out a list of books, five or six is perfect, 
that you have or can get access to. These are available as digital, I think, so you could do that. Um, so you lay out a list of differing styles, but all at the right level for your student. And then you send them that list or you play it in the lesson, let them listen to the music and then they choose. That's always the best recipe for success in my book with supplemental pieces. But these would definitely be going on one of my standard lists that I send out to students at that level who I think would like something with some energy, with some attack, who maybe aren't in the more dreamy, ethereal style of music, who that just isn't their bag. I think these would be great pieces for them. I hope you will check them out. Brock's site is my-melodies. I'm gonna leave the link in the description though, so you can hop straight over there and get these books, listen to more of the pieces, there's excerpts of all the pieces with the backing tracks there. I hope you love them as much as I do, and I will see you in the next video.